One of the things when you get into malware analysis, so if some of my guys actually learning malware analysis now for the first time, and there's a lot to it. Uh, it's a very, very difficult topic, but it's so fun. I used to be a malware analyst. And you can kind of look at the DLL, or not DLLs, the function calls here and get a general understanding of what the malware has the capabilities to do. Not necessarily what it will do if you execute it in a sandbox, but what capabilities it does have, right? So when you're executing malware in a sandbox, when you're detonating it, it's going to do what it's going to do. It doesn't mean it's going to run through all its functionality that's a, that it has available. It may not do anything because the environment isn't what it's looking for. So whenever I write malware for testing purposes only, kids, it is typically looking for specific things in the environment before it executes. Yeah, you know, it's kind of like, think about it. You get a brand new car, right? You're like, oh yeah, this car can go zero to 60. Um, and you get in there, it goes zero to 60, but what else can it do? You can roll down the windows, you can do open the trunk, you can do all these things, but the first time you drive your car, are you actually using all the functionalities that are available? That's the same with malware, that's the same with tools. 